So I was editing the next video. It's the input output harness video that I got. And I noticed I didn't have an intro and I can't leave you guys hanging like that. Um, don't worry, the empty garage spot, we'll go over that later. Um, but for now, welcome back to the channel. Let's see what I got going. going through and doing the input output harness and kind of one of the first steps I'm doing is putting Deutsch connectors on everything. So this is like the fuel tech billet, solenoids, nice stuff, um, shock sensor. I'm about to weld this guy up. I put a Deutsch connector on him as well. That way everything's just easy to undo and do. Um, this little relay is going to be for the staging. So there's like the bum button. It's gonna be hooked up to this. I'm gonna show you how to wire all this stuff. Fuel tech's a little different than the other ones out there. Um, let's see how the lighting looks down here. It's not too bad. You can see I got both shock sensors on the rear axle. Got those all done. Had to do some little custom stuff to get, I don't know if you'll be able to see the top one, but I had to get creative on that one to get it all to work. There just wasn't enough clearance to do it how you normally do it. But got that. I'm about to put the drive shaft sensor on. Um, I would normally do a Deutsch connector on it as well, but the FuelTech one um, comes with a connector already on it, so that'd just be wasted labor. So I'll leave that on there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get all the sensors and everything laid out and put them all on the car so it's ready to go. And then we're going to start making the input-output harness. I'll be starting from the plugs up here and just working my way out getting power to where it needs to be, the sensor grounds, 5 volt, 12 volts, so on and so forth. I'm going to take you along for everything, just kind of showing you where I start on an input-output, just get everything kind of laid out, get all the connectors changed to what I want them, see where everything's going to be on the car, and then we're going to go from there. All right, uh, input-output harness, I'm starting to actually wire it up. Here's the connector that you get from FuelTech. It's a 16 pin, I believe, two, four, six, eight, yes, yeah, 16 pins. Three of those pins are outputs, or not outputs, but they're power and ground from the fuel tech computer. And the other 13 are your available inputs. That is one gripe I'm going to talk about real quick, um, just being transparent and honest, coming from a Holly Dominator setup that has just crazy amounts of inputs and outputs. The fuel tech system is kind of lacking inputs they advertise 20 inputs what they don't tell you is out of those 20 inputs seven of them are for critical functions oil pressure fuel pressure coolant temp throttle um stuff like that so you only get 13 of them granted i think there's a wastegate and a back pressure so you could redo maybe one of those but anyways long story short you only get 13 really inputs and on a race car, 13 inputs isn't a lot. Um, by the time you do shock sensors, you know, both the rears, the fronts, you do, you know, two transmission pressure sensors, you do a drive shaft sensor, coolant pressure. I mean, you start running out really quick. We actually had to kind of brainstorm on Aaron's car, the one that I'm doing all this for, and figure out what we want to do and make sure we, we were covered. Anyways, I digress. Back onto it. 13 of these. So the last pin um is your ground in this connector and then the one next to it is 12 volts and then the one next to it is 5 volts and then you have your other 13 inputs so i'm going to start wiring this up i'll show you this i'm going to do the ground 5 volt and 12 volt first and just have long leads because those will branch out and kind of go throughout the car and then i'll start pinning each input as i go through and you know kind of direct it and you know group them together so i'll kind of take you as i go through this and show you how it is i'm also going to figure out which uh, tool crimps these the best and i'll let you know i have quite a few crimping tools so i'm sure one of them will do it good so I didn't want to forget the tool, so I'm going to just go ahead and do this right now. These are some holly crimping tools, um, but they are pretty much all the same. Delphi um, connectors is what these are on the uh, field tech. They call them like the Pro 16 or the Pro 8 or whatever. But you can see Delphi is what it is, um, and that's what I'm using to crimp these. I should show you 
one crimped. Let me um let me crimp one real quick. You can see I kind of got this already going. Like I said, I got the grounds, the five volt, 12 volts done. And then I started up at the top, I'm doing trans brake, bump button, trans temp, trans pressure one, trans pressure two, and I'm just kind of going through the list, keeping track of that as I go through there. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I branch out and use step down connectors for like the five volt and 12 volt in a sec. When I get to that, let me crimp one up and show you how the crimp works and all that. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to focus in on this. Let's see if I can, yeah, there it goes. So you can see I don't strip much, maybe three eighths of an inch is what gets stripped off the wire and crimped on that second part right there. And then this outer one just crimped down on the wire to hold it. After I do these, I give them a good tug to make sure they are uh, not gonna fall out. I probably overdo that, but I don't want one of these ever failing. And then you just uh, come over here. I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed. Oh, maybe, maybe. And you push it in and it clips. So there's a little clip in there that holds it. Um, and you can pry that clip towards the center to pull the pins out. Once you have all of them in here, there's this cool little piece like this that slides in from the side and that holds them all in there. So if you're building this, you need to push on it to take that piece out and that will allow you to take pins in and out. And so that's crimping and putting those in. So I'm gonna keep building this and I'll come back when I'm kind of branching the stuff out and organizing it and all that. But it, it goes pretty easy, goes pretty quick. Another thing we can talk about as we're wiring all this up is shielded cable. So shielded cable comes in a you know thick, thick sheathing here and it has a shielding inside. So there was some like paper that I cut off and then there's a uh, ground shield cable in here and then there's three wires. Some people use these, some people don't. I do use them on Hall Effect style sensors, um, just like factory. So like your cam and crank signals use these shielded cables from the factory. So same principle. Um, I use them on drive shaft and then there was one, oh, I'm using on his turbo speed. I think that's like a Hall Effect style sensor. So any, any of those style more so, like it's always gonna be like frequency based speeds, something where it's measuring pulses or something like that. I use a shielded ca cable. Some people do, some people don't. Um, the factory does it. GM puts tons of research in their stuff. So I kind of follow their principle and it's like, uh, it can't hurt, right? Just uh, makes it better. So I have, you know, just a big spool of this stuff. I'm going to um, get this going to the one to the front for the turbo and one to the back for the drive shaft sensor. The step down connectors that I'm always talking about. So there you can see it's a red connection on one side, which is like 18 to 22 gauge, and then blue on the other side, which is what, 14 to 16 gauge or so. Um, they call them step down connectors. Dell City and some other places sell them. We can see here, here's the red side, and then, oh, the blue side is bigger, so you can fit more wires in it. There you go, let me show you. Blue side, red side. You can see it's smaller on the red, bigger on the blue. So in this scenario, I have one wire going into it and three wires coming out of it. And these are really handy, so like this is the five volt reference. Use this five volt reference for pretty much all your extra sensors, shock sensors, pressure sensors, so on and so forth. So what I do here is I have one that comes out of the main harness, you know, the main connector. So I have one five volt that comes into it and I split it out to three. I originally split it out to three. One goes front to the, you know, all the front sensors. One goes to the middle, uh, the transmission. So all the transmission pressure sensors and all that. And then one goes to the rear. And then each one of those will have another step down connector like this when it gets to its destination. So once the transmission one gets to the transmission area, I'll have another one that takes that one five volt transmission signal and steps it out to three or four to go to all the different sensors and stuff down there. Same with the front, same with the back. So I'll use, you know, three or four of these in a harness to get one five volt reference wire to 10 or more five volt signals. Um, and it works, it works really good. So there's my explanation on those. I'm gonna get this heat shrinked up and keep finishing up this harness. Have all the pins done. Um, just kind of cleaning it up and getting it all ready to finish up. Oh shit. Dave! 
I'm on Joe's wiring classes right Look now. Look at this, yeah. So I'm making, I'm actually in the mid middle of uh, making a video on my harnesses. I'm actually oh. installing it right now. We'll actually go take a peek at what I'm, I'm doing. In the beginner class, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in the beginner class. So I'm uh, doing my the output harness. Uh, where is the connector? Oh, here it is. So I'm in the middle of putting this on the car. I'm gonna loom it all up. I got the trans brake solid state relay going in it's on the output harness getting like the boost controller wires going where they need to go and I'm, I'm about to get that harness like permanently installed on the car and moving forward but we have a special guest today <clears throat> i have to move around the mustang but anyways i didn't bring lunch or i didn't bring ice cream but i brought lunch he brought lunch so we'll let it slide he uh it's been almost like a month now he we haven't had ice cream I mean, he looks skinnier, he doesn't lost he? Weight? Yeah, he looked not <laughs> out. I didn't lose any weight, but Dave lost weight. Yeah, stay away from that ice cream. <laughs> yeah, so um, he's over here. I guess he's uh, working on someone's, and he needed some uh, assistance and tools for making connectors. Have... Guess these are Delphi connectors. Yeah, I did not have the right tools for the job. Didn't have the right tools for the job, and Joe did. So here's Joe always does. Oh, always does. So he's uh he's pinning all this stuff and he's learning how tedious and awesomely fun this stuff is. That's terrible. So he's doing these. These really suck. Yeah. Hold on, that's never gonna focus. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Because they suck. <laughs> yeah, these are terrible to make. No fun at all. So he's working on these and he's making a cool harness <clears throat> and I'm making some harnesses and we're just having fun. It's good to see old friends, right? Where you been, Dave? Yeah, they must have running cars. <laughs> Easy. Sorry. I'm Easy. Just saying, you know? Why wouldn't my car be running? It's getting AC installed. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh yeah, so what's the advantage of the solid state relay for the trans brake? I'd love to know. I don't know the actual advantage. I just know they make you do them. Yeah. So the fuel tech one's different than the Holly one. Really? The Holly's that three R funny looking guy. Like the the fuel tech one. The yeah, or? the fuel tech one looks like a traditional relay, and it just has like a heat sink on the top. It is weird, but yeah, you have to do it. I think it has to do with your bump box and how you bump. You know how it bumps in. Well, I know the solid state because there's no uh, like there's no lag time, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't think the lag has anything to do with it. Oh, I thought that's why I did solid state versus like a regular. No, I think it's because you pulse with modulate them. Oh. Okay. I think the PWM you have to have a solid state to PWM it. Okay. So there's a little uh, side note. Um, so yeah, back to wiring we go. <laughs> Another part that we haven't really talked about are grommets. Um, you can see like the EGTs, they go through a grommet down there. And I use them elsewhere in the car. I'm going to be putting a grommet right there. That's a factory hole. Um, but I can go through there and put a grommet. And you can see I got a, the loom coming out. Check out that black panel. Finally got that all done and all the bulkheads fastened in. That turned out sharp. Like it really changes the engine bay. But anyways, back to grommets. Um, these grommets are some of the best that I've found. And they're actually a brand called Seals It. I think Earl's is who makes these. Um, I don't know. But anyways, the brand is Seals It. They're not cheap. They're like $20 each for this little thing, but they're super nice. I use them, um, I got one back here. That's where like the drive shaft and shock sensors are gonna go through. And then I'm gonna have one in that factory hole as well for the transmission. And like, they're just, they're really nice grommets. And um, yeah, I use them. They come blank, you can get them with holes. I get them blank. So I can just kind of put a slit in there and run the, you know, loom or wires through there. So just thought I'd uh, share that piece. Whoops. We were just talking about grommets and you can see that one's in now. Um, you can see I started finishing up some of these connectors. It's been a little while. I had to do a lot of other stuff on the car, but now here I am back on it. So this is for the coolant pressure sensor. We're gonna put one right there. We're just waiting on the fitting in the head. And if you come down here, you can see I got all the connectors and wiring done for all this stuff. So here's the Deutsch connector for the shock sensor. Got it all run. And then here's the boost controller solenoids. Got that wired in. Um, and you can see the Deutsch connector for it. Um, all heat shrinked and loomed and everything. And then we're gonna put the ride height center right here. And then I have the connector for it. Um, so really, yeah, I, the only thing I have left is the turbo speed. It's ready to go. Just gotta put it up. And then I'm almost done wiring. Another really cool thing, slide underneath here, was the Rife sensors. You see that guy? So that's a combination 
pressure sensor. So it has two pressures, one for your line pressure and one for your charge pressure. And then it takes a Deutsch connector, um, the male side of a Deutsch connector. So it has a built in female into this aluminum housing. And that takes the male side that you wire in. Super cool. I was really impressed with that. Like all the trans brake and everything's done. And yeah, so that's kind of wrapping up the wiring video. I know it's been a long time. I've done a ton of other stuff. You can see that body's actually on the car. I'm not gonna show you much of the car. You'll have to stay tuned for the release video. We're actually finishing up the car runs, it dries. We're just tying up some wiring and some other stuff. Stay tuned, next video. He's picking this up tomorrow, actually. So be sure to check. This is gonna be coming a couple days right after this last wiring video. If you got any lasting questions on the wiring, leave them in here. I may be doing one more on like tuning and setting up some stuff in the fuel tech one, not some stuff I've learned. I've ran into some issues and maybe a final pros and cons, but this is gonna wrap up the wiring video for the Camaro. So stay tuned for the next video, him picking it up in the complete. This thing turned out amazing. I guess I'll show you in here. It wouldn't be a complete video if I didn't show you how the wiring turned out. But look at that. So there's the fuel tech and the steering wheel controls. All the wiring goes right behind the dash. The dash is up so you can't even see the relay board anymore. You can see like the steering wheel comes out of the carpet with a Deutsch connector. Um, and then it just open up the door so you can see all this. Like all the wiring is loomed and tucked along the carpet. Like you don't even notice it just blends in. Um, yeah, you just can't can't see anything. It turned out really really good Stay tuned for the next video the full release of the car